2015 Hyundai Sonata Limited. Rear brake pads and rotors. This one has electric rear parking brake. So in order to do that, you have to back up the parking brake. Well, first thing you want to do is loosen your lug nuts, jack it up, support it, and remove your tires. And you want to come over to your connector, take a small blade screwdriver in here. But first push your connector. Make sure your connector is pushed all the way on. Make sure you push it in. And put your screwdriver in there like that. And you hear it go click. And then you can hold the screwdriver and wiggle it up and pull it up. Okay? Get that out of the way. There's just a little clip inside there. Okay? If you break that tab off, then you have to stick an angle, knee, an angle pick in there and grab that piece that's in there right in. So, right inside there. Now, I don't know if you can see it's a little flat wedgie in there above the terminals. Okay, lift that up and you can pull it off the little hump. The next you want to do is remove your 14 millimeter bolts. There's two of them. Got the slider bolts. Then you put some vice grip needle nose on them to hold them. Remove your bolts. Take a screwdriver in here and pry up your caliper. Get the caliper off. Okay. Take a screwdriver in there. Pry the caliper up. Oops. Make sure you support it with your other hand. They're not real heavy, so I just let them hang there. That's fine. We'll push the piston back in a little bit. I'll show you how to do that. I caliper bracket, two 14 millimeter head bolts, break them loose with a hammer and your wrench, and then get a ratchet and a ratchet and take them out. Take them out, and remove them. Then you have to remove your pads and clean your slides. You need your abundant clips, clean your slides up. I'll show you that. And then you remove your Sometimes I had the little hex head bolts hold them on. This one don't. You have to remove them to get the rotor off. And then you want to clean that surface, get all the rust out of there, okay? Okay, make sure you clean up your slides. Not your slides, but your uh, contact area for your pads where your button clips go. I clean them up and then I'll paint them. And then my uh, slide bolts make sure they're free i'll take them out and i'll put some silk light on them or some dialetic grease and if they're frozen you'll have to heat it if they're frozen they don't turn you have and they, you can't get them out you have to heat them up and twist them at the same time you know put this in a vise and heat this up and grab hold of the other end and twist it back and forth be careful when you heat this up that it doesn't get so hot that it actually explodes and shoots the pin out. <laughs> That's a fact. So do not stand in front of it. Okay? Once you get them out, clean them up on the wheel wheel, get all the rust off of them. Clean out inside here and then put some dialect grease in there and some fill glide, whatever. Get them all done. So I let the paint dry and I'll put my clips on there. I got my surface and my hub clean. I put some anti-seize on it. I'll put my rotor on it. But now I'm, first off I need to do is get the piston pushed back in. That I'll need a 12 volt battery and two small jumper wires. And a pair of vice grips. Channel locks, there we go, channel locks. I got my piston in. So just takes a little time. Try not to arc them together on the same terminal. You burn out the terminal. So I'll just use small wires and you'll be good. Okay, make sure your abundant clips are sitting flat. Not sticking up crooked. Okay. And the inside, the bottom inside here. Right in here. Two more little clips. Hold them in there. See if you can see them. See them? On the sides. 
Yeah, about in there. I use a uh, wire brush and I'll stick it in there like this. It's curved and I'll use that to push it down with. Okay, so I got these ready. Now I'm gonna put my, put some anesthesia on my hub, clean off my rotors with some water and soap. Don't use brake clean. And I'll put my uh, copper bracket on and I'll tighten it up. Here's my hub. Put some anesthesia on it. Rotor. Soap and water, cleaned it off. I'll put it on there. I'll line my screw holes up. You know I don't have screw holes. And I get this on there, and then I'll put my copper bracket on there. I got a motorcycle snowmobile battery, but I use it in my little ATV for my grandkids. Got two jumper wires. And I come up onto the connector, and I'll connect one side up, and then and then tap the other side on there. You'll hear the motor go, near, near, near. But as you're doing that, you want to watch the piston and make sure that the piston doesn't extend out. If, they, if it extends out, then you're you're backwards, so then you need to switch your polarity, positive, negative. So then you'll redo it, and you'll hear it go near, near, and just do it a couple, keep tapping it a couple times, and then get your vice grips on there, not vice grips, channel locks, and squeeze the piston in. You know, if it, if it goes in a little bit, you're going the right direction. If it ain't going in, then you need to double check this, your polarity to make sure it's not coming out. So just keep doing it a couple times and keep coming over there with the channel locks and push them in each time. And then when you're actually doing this, you'll hear it go, and it go, and it'll make a weird different sound when it hits the bottom. So I don't hold it on there. Just I just keep tapping it, and I just keep going back and forth with my channel locks, okay? Or you could possibly use a 12 volt battery charger. I never tried it, but worth a shot. Get my rotor on. Got my uh, bolts, copper bolt bracket in, and I got them tightened up. <laughs> I use a ratchet wrench, and then I use a big wrench, and then I use a three pound sledge to hit my wrench to make sure I got them tight because I can't really get nothing in there to get to it. So. so if you don't know what I mean by that, hit your wrench with a hammer. Okay. This is a good swing. Not a, not a full stroke swing, just a quarter swing that you can do inside your wheel well. Okay. And those are good. Do them both. Make sure they're tight. Make sure you got a good wrench. I'll round the heads off. Okay, now I'll put my pads in. Then I'll put my caliper on. Inside. Bottom. Put it in there. Bottom in first. Squeeze the back one in. Squeeze it in. The outer one, no squeaker. Put it in first, push that little metal over. See it? Squeeze it in, got it in. Okay. Now, do it like that. Wiggle it in there a little bit. Get them past your slides, push the slides back in, you know. Okay, I got them past the slides. Now I need to put my bolts in and then tighten them up. Cut up the bolts in, tighten them up, top and bottom. Do the same thing with your wrench with the with your hammer. I'm gonna hold the smaller bolts, they don't need to be crazy, but they need to be tight. And then the electrical connector for your parking brake. Line it up. Push it on. See if you can pull it off. Can't pull it off, it's good. Make sure it's not kinked. Make sure your lines ain't twisted and funny looking. Okay. So now you can do is put your tire on, snug up your lug nuts, put it on the ground, and tighten them and torque them. That'd probably be like 90 foot pounds. Make sure you pump your pedal before you put it in drive in reverse. Apply your parking brake a couple times. To make sure it's functioning properly and releasing and you're good.